Welcome to our latest farming documentary on modern cassava processing, amazing cassava cultivation, and harvest techniques. Today we will delve into how cassava is grown, harvested, and processed in 2024 with updated statistics and best practices for achieving maximum productivity. Cassava, also known as yucca or manioli, is a vital food crop in many countries around the world. In my country, cassava holds significant importance as a staple food, second only to cornmeal in terms of consumption. Although it is native to South America, cassava is now widely cultivated in the tropics and subtropics, providing a crucial source of nutrition and income for millions of farmers. This widespread cultivation is attributed to the crop's ability to thrive in various climates and soils, making it a reliable source of food and economic stability in diverse regions. Let's begin by discussing the initial stages of cassava cultivation, starting with the selection of seedlings. Cassava seedlings are actually cuttings taken from the stems of mature cassava plants. These stems, once the leaves have been removed, are cut into pieces approximately 20 to 30 centimeters long. Before planting, these cuttings are soaked in a plant protection solution to ensure they are healthy and free from pests or diseases. Next, let's talk about soil preparation. Proper soil preparation is essential for cassava cultivation. Before planting cassava, Farmers often plant a type of canola to enrich the soil with essential nutrients. This practice, known as cover cropping, improves soil fertility and structure, providing a better growing environment for the cassava. Harrowing, a process of breaking up and smoothing out the soil, is also used to enhance soil quality and increase productivity. After the land has been thoroughly prepared, synthetic fertilizers are applied to supplement nutrients, ensuring the plants have everything they need to thrive. Planting distances are crucial for optimal growth. The cuttings are planted about 40 to 50 centimeters apart, and a drip irrigation system is set up to provide consistent moisture. This system is particularly advantageous as it conserves water and delivers it directly to the roots, reducing waste and promoting healthy growth. Depending on the variety of cassava, it can be grown two to three times a year, making it a versatile and highly productive crop. This frequency of cultivation allows for continuous supply and can significantly impact the livelihood of farmers by providing multiple harvests throughout the year.
Routine care is an ongoing process throughout the cassava crop cycle. Regular weeding, pest control, and monitoring of soil moisture levels are critical to maintaining healthy plants. Farmers use various methods to keep pests at bay, including biological control and organic pesticides, ensuring the crops remain healthy without compromising the environment. A typical cassava crop takes about 9 to 10 months from planting to harvest, depending on the variety and growing conditions. This duration allows the roots to develop fully, ensuring they reach optimal size and quality for processing. Harvesting cassava is a labor-intensive process, requiring careful handling to avoid damaging the roots. The mature plants are uprooted and the roots are collected for processing. Modern harvesting techniques have made this process more efficient, reducing the time and effort required to bring the crop from the field to the processing plant. In 2024, innovations such as mechanized harvesters and improved manual tools have significantly reduced labor costs and increased efficiency, enabling farmers to manage larger fields with less manpower. Now let's move on to the processing of cassava. Once harvested, cassava roots must be processed quickly to prevent spoilage. The roots are washed, peeled, and grated to produce cassava pulp. This pulp is then pressed to remove excess moisture and dried to create tapioca flour, a versatile ingredient used in many culinary applications. The drying process is critical as it preserves the quality and extends the shelf life of the tapioca flour, making it suitable for various uses, from baking to industrial applications. Cassava is not only a crucial food crop, but also a source of various byproducts with significant economic value. Cassava starch, for example, is used in a wide range of industries including food, pharmaceuticals, and textiles. Its versatility makes it a valuable commodity in global trade. Cassava leaves, which are often discarded, are rich in protein and can be used as animal feed or processed into leaf protein concentrates for human consumption. This holistic use of the cassava plant minimizes waste and maximizes its economic potential. Thank you for joining us on this fascinating journey through modern cassava processing and cultivation. We hope you found this documentary informative and inspiring. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more farming documentaries. Until next time, happy farming!